Hi golfers, Nick here from Nick Taylor Golf. It's Friday, so welcome to another lesson on golf tips. This week on golf tips, we're going to discuss the setup for the stack and tilt golf swing. First thing I'm going to do is grip the club. And I have gone into detail in this in another video, so maybe check that one out. Just to keep it simple, I'm going to grip in my fingers, in my left hand, sit the pad of my left hand on top of the grip, grip in the fingers of my right hand, and sit the pad of my right hand over the thumb. So I'm gripping it in the fingers, covering the thumb. But just to keep it simple, next thing I'm gonna do is align my club face, depending on where my target is. And as I set up, I'm gonna actually aim my club face a little bit to the right of the target, because I know I'm gonna hit a push draw, so I want the ball to start right to enable it to curve left back towards the target. If you draw the golf ball, you don't want the ball starting at the target. You want it starting to the right to enable it to draw back towards the target. So when I set up, club face slightly open. My body and my stance line will be pretty much parallel to my target, but the club face will be slightly open. Next thing I'm gonna do is set up my body weight. And as I set up, I'm gonna set my hips slightly forward at setup. So I'm just pre-setting my hip forward about 60-40 on the left. I'm not setting up and putting my head and my body forward. I'm just setting up and pushing my lower body forward at setup. Whilst I'm doing that, I'm also maintaining the flex of my knees, making sure my belt buckle tilts down slightly. So I'm not setting up with the belt level or the hips level, I'm set, setting up with them slightly tilted down. As you can see, my back is tilted over. What you will notice is, as I set up, and you'll see some of the best golfers over time do this, as they set up, the neck is slightly down. They haven't got their chin up, so their back is dead straight. They actually have the neck slightly tilted down. So that gets me to look at the ball at the center of my vision. That's quite important. When you're setting up to the golf ball, you want to be looking at the ball at the center of your vision. You don't want to be looking at the bottom of your eyes. So, Make sure you're tilted over, but the neck is slightly tilted as well. Next thing I'm gonna do is set up with my feet slightly flared and my knees slightly out. The reason we do this is it takes stress off the knees as we turn and it helps you turn a lot more in the golf swing. If you have your feet and your knees in, you, your, your turn will get restricted and it will put stress on your knees as well. So make sure the feet are flared and the knees are slightly out. Next thing, ball position. I use the left shoulder as a guide for ball position. So as you see here, I've got the ball about three balls back from my left shoulder. If you've seen other videos, you'll know that's sort of like the center point of the swing. So when it's slightly back of that and the handle slightly forward. Again, if you look at the best golfers, as they come into impact, their hands are gonna be forward. So I'm just pre-setting my hands forward at setup. So just to recap, Grip it in the fingers, cover the thumb. Club face slightly open to the target. Stance square to the target. Knees bent, hips tilted over, back tilted over, neck down. Feet flared, knees slightly out, hands forward. And also hip forward is the key one there. So I'm not setting up with my head forward, just setting up my lower body weight 60, 40. And if you can get that set up right, hopefully you're on your way to improving your golf. So guys, if you've got any comments on that, please post them in the box below, or you can catch me on other social media platforms such as Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. The best players will always make contact with the ground, this side of the stick or the line. 